Hey everyone, it is Monday. I know, I'm late. I'm usually talking to you guys on Sunday. But I've been busy pretty much doing nothing. I started to do a strawberry cow. And this is as far as I got. I got all the parts stuffed in the unfinished head. And there's a lot of parts. Um, and then I ran out of pink. And my two orders came in. I had an uh, order with Hershner's and I had an order with Premier. And I had pink in my order, but not this color pink. And the wrapper did not, well, the yarn didn't still have the wrapper, the label on it. So I wasn't sure the exact color, but I think this is ballet pink and nobody has it. So Hersner's has another deal just for a couple of days. I think today might be the last day with the shipping. So even though it says it's not going to be there back in stock until uh, May 7th, I went ahead and ordered it so that I can still get the shipping price. And when they get it, they'll ship it out, hopefully. And then I can finish the strawberry cow. Then the other thing I was working on is I, a while back, I had bought um, Red Mills um, dragon bundle and it had four dragons. Well, I've only done one of the four. And that was that really big one that I did that... Uh, you know, I told you it, I didn't feel like it was my best work because I could see all the holes in the tail and stuff. So I started on the Sleeping Darling Baby Dragon. And I have the head and the body and the two front legs. And then it was pattern test time. But I can't show you that because that is like top secret for now. So I had put this on pause to do this pattern test. And I will tell you one thing about it. One of the colors I chose to use was mustard. And the it said it would take like a skein and a half to a skein and three quarters of the mustard. So I started with my partial, was which was probably a little bit more than half. And that yarn was just fantastic. Well, then it came time to get into another skein. And this, this is what I was dealing with. So, trying to help someone work out the kinks in a pattern and having to deal with this condition of yarn is no fun. But my top secret test that's sitting over there behind the camera, just staring at me, turned out just fine. I It just took me a little longer because I was battling that crappy, yucky skein of yarn. Yeah. But you don't get to see what it is or know whose it is or anything like that for I think a week. So I did get my two yarn orders in like I said I'll show you what I got. And when I said I got pinks I did get pinks but I didn't get the right pink. So I got I um on Hershner's you gotta do the three pack. If they sell the color in the three pack you save so much money but wait till they run a shipping deal. So you can get three of them for $10.97 versus $4.99 a piece off of Premier. And that's what? $14.97? $10.97? He said $4. That's huge when you go through as much yarn as we do. So I got bubble gum. That was not the color pink I needed. And I got pink lemonade. And again, that was not the color I needed. 
I got bright pink to do the flamingos with. Now this one is out of hibiscus, but the first one, the one that I sold at the very first market I took it to was made out of the bright pink. So I got that. And now they're mixed up, so I don't know which ones came from Premier or which ones came from uh, Hershner's, but these are my other colors. I got Coral and Peach and I needed this, um, some Lilac and I think one of them, like Premier had one shade of purple and Hershner's had the other shade that I needed so that's kind of what caused the dual orders. And this was the other purple. And it is iris. And just looking through the plastic, I'm not sure I'm going to be happy with those. So, oh, here's another iris. I didn't realize I ordered six. Um, some seal which happens to be my favorite of the shades of gray that Perfect Chunky has. The other thing that caused me to go on Hershner's was Premier didn't have any sea glass. And I really like this color of sea glass. So I know this one came from Hershner's. And some mint. And the last color is side, which is pretty. So I've got some colors to work with, but like I said, Hershner's was running another shipping deal, not as good as the one cent, but it was $4.80 for shipping. And so I placed another order and uh, it'll have hopefully the right shade of pink on back order and when it comes in, I'll get that. But in the, uh, to get up to the 35, I ordered some white and rain and I don't remember. But colors that I know that I'll use a lot of, you know, cause Sue had a good point. When we get towards the fall, we're gonna have a hard time getting yarn still. So get it now while you can. Stock up on it if you can afford to do it. So you won't run into those kind of issues. So since I don't have anything really exciting to share with you today, I thought we would crochet together. Um, I, I don't have one finished item. So when I say I have not been productive this week, I am really truly mean it Nick <laughs> so yeah I thought we would just crochet together and I am going to do my axolotl and I'm gonna try and use some of this uh, baby bee adorable with the lime green accents and see how an axolotl will look like with this, just to be different. So, yeah. So I have my pattern printed out, my hook, my yarn needle, my two colors of yarn, a little bit of black. My safety eyes are not in the drawer. They're probably on my other desk. Let me go find them. Safety eyes. I try to put them back once I use them. Doesn't always work out like that. But you know how it goes. All right, so let's get started. 
Now I always use the chain two method with this yarn because um, it doesn't like me when I do the magic ring. And I'm gonna be good and go and get my gloves, especially for my left hand. That one seems to be the one that uh, gives me the most problems, believe it or not. And it's just holding the project. All right, so we did six, and now we're gonna increase. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do a whole round of increases. You know, do you ever have problems losing your stitch markers? <laughs> I can have a hundred of them on my table, and when I need it, I can't find a single one. So now we are increasing again. Okay, so I finished round three. I can already tell I'm not sure I'm going to like this with an axolotl, but we're going to keep going. So now... The next three rounds are the same amount. So this is the head and we're going to start on the body and I think my next round, I lied, it's not ready for the feet yet. So we're going to work on that. So we have the head, this is the neck, and the next step is we're moving on to the body. <laughs> So once we get to the round where we have done the front feet, now we're going to put our eyes in because that helps us to get them even. I'm going to sit this on my table and look a little big.
yeah, 10 millimeter eyes. So before I snap them in place, I want to make sure that they look even or as even as they can be when you work in a spiral. So I'm going to use my eye gizmo. <laughs> So the eyes are in place. All right. Next round. Before I go too far, I need to stuff the head. made of these now but I did not have to adjust my bobble stitches to get them to line up and I've actually only had one person tell me that they've had to adjust their bobble stitch to line up so now we are making the tail and I don't know these colors are starting to grow on me hmm <laughs> body 
And now we need to add the gills and the fins, I guess they're called, on the tail. These work up pretty quick. Okay, so let's get to that. Okay, you guys, now I feel like I got something made this week. One little axolotl. It's a small, quick make. Um, yeah, and it's this one's my pattern. It is available on my Etsy. I'll put the link below. And uh, yeah, I think these colors are kind of growing on me a little bit. He's... Uh, Definitely, definitely tripping. He's um, my only multicolored bodied axolotl that I've made. I usually use solid colors, but I just wanted to test this out. All right, so sorry I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff to show you this week. But like I said, I've been busy, kind of doing nothing. I mean, not really not doing not not really doing nothing, but not being able to complete things like the strawberry cow, the um darling baby dragon. I can finish that. I do have the yarn for it. But I did that top secret pattern test, and you're just gonna have to hold out to find out what it is. But axolotl made my day. <laughs>